know how I always joke, if you've been out on the boat with me, I always joke about when I grow up, I'm going to be a Gulf Coast angler. So what I'm going to show you is what it takes to anchor in the St. John's River in my boat. All right. So right here, here's my lightweight anchor. This one's only like 10 pounds. That's what I use, a reef and rock anchor. But I'm gonna connect it to some heavy chain. This anchor in the St. John's River, for me in my boat, is only good when I'm anchoring up in the jetty rocks or if I'm gonna be in, I don't know, uh, you know, 10, 15 foot of water. I call this my trout fishing anchor. Then today, if we swing around here, and I'm gonna put the two next to each other. Today, I picked up this one. Only needs a short trace of chain on it, because this anchor here is 24 pounds. All right, so you can see the difference between like a 10 pounder and a 24 pounder, okay? I'm gonna use this for those days in the fall when the current is so strong you can't even hardly anchor up in the St. John's River. And when you do anchor up in the St. John's River, you could let a 12 year old out on a slalom ski and he could ski behind the boat, okay? Uh, so this is a reef and rock that's 24 pounds. Then you come over here and this here is an 18 pounder. This one here is an 18 pounder. This is my daily driver. This is my uh, one that I use almost all the time. And this is a spare because I got one in the boat, of course. So this is what it takes to fish around here. Now, yeah, I could probably get a ton of comments. Oh, well, don't you use this or don't you use that or whatever. Believe me, I have used everything you could think of. These anchors, these anchors here, 10, 18, 25, 24. It's the only ones that work for me. So now I have a spare, a spare, and a spare. And this is what it takes to fish a 26-foot boat in the St. John's River. I don't want to hear any of you Gulf Coast guys ever complain. <laughs>